It's a long story for him. London's new state of fear is nearly stamped out. The remaining writers have managed to preserve Graf in its original form, despite being in this closely watched city of paranoia. After countless hours trying to reach them, we developed very strong connection, passion and love for trams themselves. Well, the Mukok who happened 
you know shit very well than like what you fucking expect or whatever shit that you do. Yeah, I understand people can call you a vandal and criminal because you obviously break the law. You know, in your general meaning, you, meaning you destroy things, you smash things around. So I understand that, but I don't think the things we do are really bad for for society or in general meaning. It's nothing. It's nothing bad. It's not really that costful as as people are told it is.
increase the bit. More fences, better fences, higher fences, stronger fences. They give some bullshit reason, but really it's, it's all about money. If it wasn't the Olympics, it'd be some other bullshit, you know? Now in London, every place, place is a problem because and it's more sick and more secure every year. They want to use all available techniques against us, so you know, if you're smart enough, and we're not kids. So you try to figure out how to avoid the whole thing, you know? Evolution, if you, you got to adapt to your environment. You have to paint less time, you paint less time. You have to get heavier tools to cut through fences, you get heavier tools to cut through fences. It's about adapting and evolving. We improve our materials, we work with them. They try to fuck you up with all the security and fucking paranoia stuff. Big Brother cameras watching over you 24 7 and an extra hour. But That's half of the fun, isn't it? Like, what? I'll be painting the wall all day long if, if, if I can got my rocks off that way. Like, what? If you didn't have security or police, that's, that's half the fun. You know, the half the tension, the atmosphere, it's all created by the fear of getting caught. There's no fear, there's no fun. The older generation of people, you know, they they look at the graph a bit differently than, than, than us. And we do. Because for them, and uh, you, you can hear it, that there's no fun anymore in doing it. Because it involves too much risk. And, and in the end, you might not even get a photograph of what you've done. You know, for us, we want to cultivate the whole culture. Sure. And so, we have to follow the new rules. And that's how it is. For us, it's, it's easier to get a proper spray cans, but it's obviously we've got less time. So I think there's a balance. Um, That's another thing, yeah, the time, like, they didn't have fat caps, so, yeah. so it would take a lot longer to do a piece. You could spend more time painting in the spots where not that secured, but at the same time, you couldn't really uh, get quality tools to, to paint. You couldn't get like paint which is especially branded to paint rough. You could only use like car paint, which was shit. Now back then, if there were fences, they were really small and you could probably, you know, collapse them or cut them with a random pliers. But nowadays, it's, uh, you need a really heavy tool, so at least you've got two layers of fence. And now they introduced a brand new fence made from different steel, much harder, much thicker as well. The more time you spend on the cutting, uh, you spend the two days preparing the spot and you spend maybe 15 minutes painting if you're lucky and you, if you get to painting at all. Spend two days preparing and maybe you'll get a palette. So pretty much that was the perfect example of last time. You spent three days going to the spot every day, charging batteries, cutting with grinder and then using board cutters. Three days, like constant cutting and, and stressing yourself and then in the end we couldn't enter the spot because security was doing the rounds so often that we couldn't really get there. And then someone will find the, 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 the thing we've done, the preparing, they fix the whole stuff. So we can't even paint anything. So the difference is between now and then that you know you, you spend 95% of the time for preparation and maybe you know you do your thing.
when you're doing the wall, you can you can run and you can coming back and finish three four times in the same place. The wall never runs for you. It's two things when you stay on the train. You got just this one opportunity in your life when you can do this and and it's never happened again. doesn't belong to the gallery because uh, its origin and uh, the, the message behind the letter forms that we put on, on the trains is against this kind of closed society. If you look at the gallery, there are certain rules. You've got a restriction of the space, you've got restriction of the format. Uh, you have to pay for your venue. And that's, I think, the point that the graph is cutting up. The biggest limitation uh, is the inconsistent time frame that is usually under half an hour depending on the security checks. Um, that's why we cannot do as detailed artwork as you can see in the galleries or legal walls. The difference between the final and the graph is in final the people look at this one object that's the main thing, you know, the thing that was done in a studio that they didn't have any time frame and they did have kind of rewards, you know, the the artwork was shown in a gallery, in a graph scene. What is important is the location, is the, the contacts you made, the, the time you spent you know, for preparation, the time you spent for traveling, the, the danger you kind of had to take to you know, cross the race or climb the barbed wire. It, it, it's kind of, it's a whole package. People are saying and will say uh, it's still an art form. It's just very specific, or controversial, very controversial. We just don't want to belong to the society that is controlled by, you know, by the rules. Exploration is always uh, somehow connected to graffiti. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just a pure passion and knowledge um, that hides a lot of secrets and, um, and lessons for the future kind of reference. I'll probably say some words. I'll just sit down with some new clubs. Some of Every time we go to some abandoned place or abandoned tunnels, uh, we review, you know, plenty of history, kind of secret places that no one else could discover before probably no one else was there for like 10, 20, 30, 40 years. You won't see a world from the museum for being this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then even then you cannot touch it. Well, I think what is important is, is the whole way through. It's not the it's not the moment when you're standing there on the hill, on the top of the hill. But what you will remember is the two weeks you did spend on preparation and planning, discussing, sketching, talking. You, know. you try to be as careful as possible, the rest is a matter of, of luck. Of luck.
someone can say, oh, that design is shit and I can only do that this, but it, you know what I mean? No one asked me if I want to have this, you know, billboards all around the station. If my statement is clear, if they can do it, why cannot I do it? If we do the same, pretty much the same thing. some social norms that has been introduced but who cares I know I'm, my conscience is clean I don't know I'm, I know I'm not doing anything wrong I just push my shit forward that's it that's my grind Designing these interiors wasn't completely aware of how it's gonna attract some people like uh, 20 years later.
Ja.
all the time. Routine. You're going through routine, but we're giving a little bit color in, in this fucking life. It happened in Monterey a long time ago. I met her in Monterey in old Mexico. Stars and steel, guitars and luscious lips as red as wine. Broke somebody's heart and I'm afraid that it was mine It happened in Monterey Without thinking twice I left her and threw away the key to Carrot
at the moment when you take the freeze And then you feel like, yes, I've done it It's like you collect your thing It's something so precious that you cannot even explain it properly It's pretty much what it's all about It's a real question of pleasure for you know, achieving something your own body, your own system, it's not for money, it's not for women, it's not for anything else and just your personal satisfaction and pride you keep in here. Even if we're gonna stop doing it, it's gonna be another crazy generation of kids that are fed up with everyday bullshit and fucking pop culture taking over the brain and you're gonna break through and do something fresh, creative and out of control, off the chain.